louvado seja o nome do Senhor. Aleluia. Aleluia, Senhor. Glória a Deus. Nós gritamos todos com o nome do Senhor Jesus. Amém. Jesus. Amém. Eu gostaria de convidar todos a se levantar. Nós vamos estar lendo, abrindo nossas Bíblias no livro de Mateus. Mateus, capítulo 15, do versículo 21 ao 28. Vai ser um pouco mais longo, a leitura. Mateus, capítulo 15, From 21 to 28, the woman from Canaan. Amen. Thus says the word of the Lord. Then Jesus went out from there and departed to the region of Tyre and Sidon. And behold, a woman of Canaan came from that region and cried out to him, saying, Have mercy on me, O Lord, son of David. My daughter is severely damned, possessed. But he answered her not a word. And his disciples came and angered, urged him, saying, Send her away. For she cries out after us. But he answered and said, I was not sent except to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Then she came and worshipped him, saying, Lord, help me. But he answered and said, It is not good to take the children's bread and throw it to the little dogs. And she said, Yes, Lord, yet even the little dogs eat the crumbs which fall from the, their master's table. Then Jesus answered and said to her, O woman, great is your faith. Let it be to you as you desire. And her daughter was healed from that very year hour. Lord, we'll be praying to you. We want to praise your name. Are ready for the ministering of your Holy Spirit. Are ready in the pleading and during the praise. I want to ask you, Lord, that you continue speaking to our hearts through your word. And your Holy Spirit may visit us and fill us of your grace and your anointing and your mercy operate in our hearts for the honor and glory of your name is a plea that we say to you in the holy name of jesus amen the church may be seated we by faith we know that when we get out of your house our house with the objective to come to the house of the Lord. There is administration of the angels of the Lord in our behalf. We have experiences, even in the moment there when we are getting prepared to come to the house of the Lord, the Lord already is, is speaking to our hearts. Many times the Lord visits us with so much mercy that we leave our homes maybe many times already touched by the Lord. And many times also, there are many trials that may prevent us from coming to the house of the Lord. But when we place in our hearts the desire to come and come to come up to the house of the Lord and to be here to glorify the Lord and praise His name, this ministration is, it is singular. We had experiences here on the service, service of last Thursday, and the Lord was already ministering His angels in a mighty way on our behalf. And our service every day, it's been a great blessing to our lives. Sometimes, some people may, may be unaware, not knowing, 
what the Lord wants to say. But when we place this heart, uh, this desire in our hearts to be in the house of the Lord, the Lord visit our hearts. And the Lord does great deeds that we cannot even imagine. The Lord does it in our behalf, in, in our lives. And the text that we just read here, and because of the history that the, the Lord describes from Genesis to Revelations, the operation of the Lord was immense. As we sing, our Lord is, our Lord lives. And every time that we read the Word of God, we see the operation that the Lord has done through Jesus, the ministration, the miracles. We see and witness what what is something that's mighty that the Lord has for our life as well. And we read the Word, we see the miracles, the mysteries, and the miracles that the Lord has performed. And every time that Jesus presented Himself in a place that was there, an operation of the Lord, an operation of the Holy Spirit, an operation of God, and there something would take place. And uh, on the house where there was some someone that was sick, Jesus would present himself there and the sickness would go away. Whatever there was death, the death would just leave. Whatever there was sadness, sadness would just leave. And we can also transform this into life, in peace, in joy, in health. For our lives and at this moment here where we read here the story of a woman the woman that was afflicted the word says that this woman was from Canaan, from Canaan. she was a Gentile she was not part of the people of Israel she had no right to that to the blessing of the Lord the inheritance of the Jewish people but we know that she heard or maybe have just witnessed the miracles of Jesus in the midst of his people and she knew that he that Jesus was in fact the son of God she knew that whatever he appeared a sign of God would take place and she had a situation a very delicate situation, a situation with her daughter. And we who are parents, we know that when there is a situation in our household, in our home, with one of our children, that shakes us, uh, st steals our fellowship, and uh, takes our breath away. Sometimes we might even say, uh, the ground is is taken away from under my feet. Some people might say this, but we know that when we place something on the hands of the Lord, the Lord is faithful. And that woman, she had something that was different. She had a faith to Jesus, on Jesus. And this woman, she typifies the church, the faithful church. The faithful church has this. One of the characteristics of the faithful church is have is to have a, a consistent faith. She was Gentile. She came. F she was from peoples that were not uh, Jewish people. But when she received the blood of Jesus, she became part of this inheritance, of this family. She. Be begin to receive as an inheritance something that the Lord has reserved for His people. And the Word says that at first she went to God's feet. She was shouting, Hosanna, son of David. She knew the prophetic, the faithful church, knows the prophecy 
the church knows the prophetic. The church knows that they will reign eternally with their Lord. And she goes to the feet of the Lord and she was discriminated. The ones who were with Jesus rejected her. They said, oh, send her away. She's bothering us. And many times in our walk, we are received like this, like people that are bothering others. They're stealing their peace or they're bothering me, my, taking me out of my comfort zone. But she was persistent. And the word says that it is interesting that before she asks for something and speak about her need, what did she do? There is a mystery. There is a secret here. She adored the Lord. The word says here, she adored the Lord. And then she said, and then she said what she wanted. First, what we need to have in our heart is adoration, is worship, is gratitude. We need to pour out our hearts before the Lord with gratitude, with zeal, with a broken heart. And our hearts speak to the Lord when we come like this. The Lord speaks to our hearts, pouring out His, uh, His blessings, and when we offer our gratitude to the Lord, even though we may go, be going through trials and tribulations, our intercession goes up to eternity. And the Lord transforms our sadness into joy, our disappointment into victory, our lack of hope into hope. Many times we imagine death, and we may even cry out for death. But Jesus is life. Allow Jesus to enter into your heart. Allow Jesus to bring life, peace, the comfort, the joy, and he, that He only He can give to our lives. Glory to God. Hallelujah.
I invite the church to stand up at this moment. Hallelujah. We're going to have a glorification to our God. Lord, praise you, Lord, because you are the only one that we can trust on. Because you, you are the unshakable rock. You are the one who raises the one who have fallen, Lord. You sustain us every day. You're the one who renew us in our walk. Renew our life, Lord. Every day, Lord, that we come into our house. We can hear your sweet voice, Lord, speaking to our hearts. We praise the Lord. We thank you because you prepared a word, a wonderful word, Lord. They spoke to us tonight. We have feel the joy in our hearts, Lord. Thank, thankful because we can hear a sweet voice. And also because we heard the songs that speak to our hearts. We praise you, Lord. We want to surrender you all our praise tonight, all our gratitude for everything that you have done. Everything that you have done for us. And to all the door that you have opened to your people, to the health of your people, that you have renewed, Lord, and especially, Lord, this spiritual health. You have sustained your people in your presence every day. That's why, Lord, we surrender to you our gratitude for your infinite mercy towards us, Lord. We surrender to you our gratitude and our praise in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Holy is your name, Lord. My church, my hands are upon your lives. I have spoken tonight to your hearts, giving a blessing of depth in my presence. I bring comfort to your hearts. I have received the adoration to you. I have received the adoration to our God for the blessings, for the experiences that we have gathered in your presence. We are giving to one of my servants, my daughters, a blessing in relation to her health. What you have already lost hope on uh, being this hope. I'm bringing comfort to you and you will see my miracle being performed in your life. In church, remain seeking your Lord in faithfulness because it is something that is very special that I need to do in your life until the end of this year. A joy, a great joy will be at the end of this year in my presence. I will be giving many experiences, many spiritual gifts, the ones that I have reserved in my eternity and in your lives. It's going to be poured out. Glory to God. Lord, we praise you and thank you, Lord, and glorify holy name for yet another night that we are in your presence. And this praise and adoration may come into your house and offer a good smell. Continue blessing your people, your church, reproach any pain and infirmity, helping all the ones who are in need. And preparing, Lord, each one of us, Lord, for this special service during this weekend. And on each one of them, we may be present for the honor and glory of your name and glorification of your holy name. S send your people uh, and protect it to uh, their homes. And we pray in the name of Jesus. And your name is say the wonderful grace of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the love of God and our good and eternal Father, and the sweet and tender consolation of the Holy Spirit be with the people of God now and forevermore. Amen. Amen. The church may be seated. Our service has come to its end. The youth and the women, they need to remain. They can, you can come 
close to the praise group, and we are going to have a, a rehearsal with the women after the rehearsal with the women, with the praise group. But you can be all together, and the brand who wants an assistance uh, or a prayer, you can be on the, the right-hand side, closer to the end, and the brethren, we are going to give assistance. We're going to have a special ser service on the 25th and the 31st, and the, which is going to be the vigil. We're going to get prepared for this moment, getting prepared, um, talking about spiritually also, so that we can spend another year in the presence of the Lord. We have a couple of brethren who are sick, and the Lord has already shown that he was healing someone here, and let's pray so that the Lord may continue healing the, the remaining so that until the t 31st, everybody could be here present to participate with us in such a special moment. Well, whoever needs an assistant, you can be on the right-hand side, a little closer to the back, and youth and women can have to be on the left. And the men who are on the right can go to the left, the, to the left and can go to the right. You have to be until 9, 10, the latest, so that we can finish this meeting of the praise group. And everyone else is free to go. And I wish you, everyone, a peace of the Lord Jesus.